Hello, everyone. This is Prostodontics on Friday, going over the implant prosthetics and digital dentistry, explaining treatment steps and side effects in an easy to understand manner. I am Dr. Jo Inho, the moderator of the session. Today is the sixth digital dentistry of prosthodontics on Friday, and we have invited Dr. Chan Se Young, Digital Hub Dental Office. Hello, hello. So, thank you very much for coming here after treating patients in Incheon. Today, what are you going to talk about? Before you start, would you give us what you are going to talk about? These days, digital dentistry is the hot topic. And I'm going to talk about digital denture in this lecture today. By listening to Dr. Chun's lecture, I hope we would be able to fabricate uh, the digital denture more conveniently and accurately. If you are watching the dental site right now, you can communicate real time with us using the chat window on the right side of the screen. Please um, raise questions freely on the chat window. Starbucks coffee coupons are prepared for those who participate in the chat. Now we look forward to your active interest and participation in the discussion. Let's get started with Dr. Chun's lecture. Hello viewers, today I have prepared a lecture on digital denture. Digital denture is not something that is really different from the denture we deal with normally. If there is any difference, we used to align teeth manually, but now CAD CAM, the virtual space is used for simulations so digitally, the denture is designed in a 3D printer or a milling machine. Machines are used to fabricate a denture. And that is the difference from the existing and the digital denture. First, how do we make a digital denture? By looking at a case, 68-year-old female patient over denture in the mandible and the full denture on the maxilla she used to wear. And uh, maxillary denture developed a problem, so a denture will be made again. In a standard way, the recording base and the occlusal rim are used to record the vertical dimension and uh, CR. And the final impression are fabricated in one place. Maxillary and mandibular denture models are fabricated. The, in the conventional way, model mounting or stone pouring is used to, to replicate a model, but uh, digital scanning is done on a computer to update the information in the computer to do the digital denture. If you have a model scanner, you can use it. If you have an intraoral scanner like a TRIOS, you can use the TRIOS to do the scanning. So if you have a clinical scanner, you can do the digital impression taking very easily. Through the scan data on the computer, you can create edentulous reach easily, as you can see at the top line, VD and CR are maintained in the edentulous reach of a patient that is replicated digitally. At the bottom, the recording base data is superimposed over the maxilla, the indentation. The reference for artificial teeth arrangement can be used. The first thing, digitally, the artificial teeth arrangement is done. The teeth are arranged with just a mouse. 
so we don't need to melt wax to make each tooth so teeth arrangement can be done using various software in a very easy way after the teeth arrangement we go into the design of gingiva using cat cam software this can be done simply and quickly if you do the designing using a mouse you could come up with very beautiful gingiva quickly that is the best advantage of digital designing the designed files as you can see are outputted in three-dimensional files and everything is ready so the data is sent to a 3d printer or a milling machine to be fabricated so this type of denture can be prepared in the past we used to do the teeth arrangement using flasking after the flasking the teeth would move and um, the teeth would contract however using a 3d printer or milling machine the problem doesn't really occur now the denture is inserted and removed and you can hear the smacking sound as it is inserted and removed because the retention is superb and it is very precise so i believe the digital denture is more precise full mouth restoration for edentulous patient all on four all on six fixed hybrid type denture bridge can exist and bar attachment or attachment over denture type exists as well but as you go up the fabrication cost would go higher so not everyone can afford it and the conventional standard denture is desired by many patients so when denture is digitally made it becomes more precise and easier for patients to use therefore digital denture is a very important part of digital dentistry conventional denture versus digital denture in terms of the workflow with the conventional denture from the preliminary impression final impression occlusal impression wax denture try in and the final delivery so at least the five visits are necessary but with the digital denture the visits can be reduced to two to three visits so this gives convenience to the patients and also in terms of hospital management or taking care of the visits surgeons can benefit from that too the difference between those two with the conventional denture preliminary final impression and uh, occlusal impression that can be condensed into one step at each step in conventional denture lab work is required but with digital denture you need a medium which is checked in terms of a preliminary final and occlusal impression and all the steps are conducted very quickly in computer so the visits can be more than halved in terms of the number of visits cat cam workflow with the digital impression vd and the final impression can be taken from patient and uh, using a scanner the data can be digitalized and CT data can be uploaded to the computer as well. Using a CAD CAM software, 
the manual denture fabrication, the design and the planning can be done digitally. So that is very convenient and easy. So anyone can fabricate the denture with the digital workflow. To manufacture, we can use a 3D printer or a milling machine. There are advantages and disadvantages for each of them. So depending on your clinic situation, you can choose the one better for you for the digital dentistry. Standard denture all on four or six, and the various dentures can be manufactured. Regarding the digital denture, let me talk about the characteristics of that. The most basic one is the standard denture, the complete denture. It is fabricated with resin. It is fixed with negative pressure. So the fitting with the tissue of the patient is good. And if the teeth are arranged properly and the occlusion is good, Complete denture can provide the optimal performance. Austin's magic denture system is available for this. And when you have only trios or other intraoral scanner, digital denture can be pursued. So do not be afraid of using this approach. I highly recommend this bar, locator, or o-ring can be used for over denture and hybrid denture or bridge. For six implants can be placed. This is a fixed type denture. All on six is available. And Magic 4 from Austin is the solution for this type of denture. And partial denture. Resin bonding is done on the metal frame for a partial identulous case. So metal frame or clasp can be used to fix them. Metal printing can be used or metal frame. Wax can be printed or milled and then cast again. So digital partial denture can be used. CAD design workflow using three shape. This is the approach I use in my clinic. Like before, recording base and occlusal rim are used. The final impression, VD, CR, registration are prepared like that. And the patient is sent home. After that, I use intraoral scanner, the tissues, recording base, and all the aspects are scanned, also the opposing teeth. Then this is the preparation of digital denture. If you use a model scanner to do very precise scanning and the denture quality is very high. However, if you use intraoral scanner to do the scanning, you need to have a better understanding about the scanner so that you can avoid distortion. Then you would be able to fabricate a denture as good as using a um, model scanner. So scanning is the first step of data entry. Precise uh, scanning is very important in determining the fate of a denture. The old denture or try-in denture can be used for impression taking, occlusal plane or lip support, smile line are checked in the mouth of a patient. If something needs to be corrected or changed, pen is used 
that it is marked with a pen. Trios is a color scanner, so all such information can be used when the design is changed in the design window. In the first step, occlusal plane or in midline need to be checked. In the second step, the denture border is set. Landmarks are marked on the maxilla. Hemulon notch, canine space, and in incisive papilla. In the mandible, retromolar pad, midline, and the right, right and left lines, and canine need to be marked. And in the second and third uh, pictures, the borders are set. These days, they can be done almost automatically. The teeth arrangement in the three shape automatically. The initial arrangement is automatically done by AI and uh, based on the recording base position, you need to make correction in a simple way. Up to three to four years ago when I used the software using a mouse, all those need to be adjusted. So on the monitor, you do the adjustment, adjustment, and it was a little bit off from the reality. But this year, 2021, the dental manager, dental solution has been upgraded. And if you set the midline, not much changes or corrections are required. So in terms of the time for denture design, it is very much beneficial to use the system. So each teeth axis, Wilson's curve, curve of speed, canine space and lip support, smile line are checked. And if necessary, they are corrected. And gingiva is designed. And this is very much automated. In the past, I used to design one at a time, all of them with the mouse, but root eminence and everything else can be designed automatically with just a little bit of correction. So gingiva can be easily made. In the past, when I asked a lab to do the denture, the lab technicians actually made the teeth or gingiva as they liked with a digital approach. Now I can fabricate the denture the way I want. So with a digital denture, I feel relieved because I can do the clinical work the way I want. So do you make the denture the way you want? Yes, I do. So the denture design is completed, the gingiva form, and uh, various forms like uh, gingiva with the teeth can be made. After the denture design, let me talk about how they can be manufactured. As I said in the beginning, denture can be printed or milled. First, printing a denture this is done quite a lot by many dentists. Temporary crowns, surgical guys can be printed. In my case, I print recording base or individual trays. Existing patient's digital model can be printed. And uh, I use a printing machine more than a milling machine. There are two types of printing. First, denture base and uh, artificial teeth arrangements can be printed separately and they are bonded together. Secondly, a monoblock for teeth and uh, gingiva can be printed in a one-body form 
and the gingiva can be colored. So the denture is made with these two methods. Milling a denture, many dentists use their favorite milling machines. A disc is used to create the teeth and there's a gum color disc so they can be milled and the teeth arrangements are bonded to the base. So, so these are the two ways to manufacture a denture. If a patient has an old denture, based on that, a new denture can be made. In the conventional way, the old denture can be duplicated Anyway, a model should be created to take an impression. With a digital denture, the yellow circle shows the denture is fractured. So simply, it can be bonded and it can be scanned. And as you can see on the third picture, a denture copy can be printed with a 3D printer. And after that, the final impression, occlusal adjustments can be made. The patient's VD, CR, and final impression can be checked. Now what you are seeing is the old denture is scanned using a trios. If a patient has a denture, you can do occlusal adjustment or you can repair some of the broken parts. Using a modeling compound, you can do the border molding. The wax is attached. The denture border, I want it, it to be thicker. So at the scanning stage, that is uh, corrected and scanned. Using a 3D printer, as you can see, the trying denture, such denture is made. It's not exactly a try-in denture, it is a copy of the old denture. So border relining, final impression needs to be taken and occlusion needs to be checked. So our staff scans that with an intraoral scanner and uh, print it immediately. And the patient doesn't need to open the mouth for a long time. So this is a denture copy after it is made. It is delivered to the mouth of a patient and occlusal adjustment, final impression and bite registration are done. And the printing or coloring can be done. At this stage, on the CAD, the denture is not designed. Why I do that is that based on my experience, the denture worn by the patient for a long time is very good in terms of the fitting and uh, in terms of stable occlusion in a patient. So I won, I thought about uh, using the old denture. So using a 3D printer and scanner, you can do that. So for the patients who have used uh, their old denture for a long time, I do it like that. And this is the final denture. This is a 3D printed denture. Right now, occlusal adjustment is not completed, but it is very good. As you can see, the retention is very good, especially in the mandible. It is uh, taken out after shaking it. Compared to flasking, 3D printing or milling provides much superior retention. Magic denture system of Kozan, a kit very convenient to make a denture. Denka 
solution is provided by Kozan. First, Magic Denture Kozan provides the Denka tray, a ready-made tray to acquire VD and CR easily and a lip ruler to determine the smile line from inside the papilla to the upper lip that can be easily measured and the VD can be measured and checked with a jog gauge and the easy tracer for the gothic arch tracing you don't need any particular devices with a sticker attached the tracing can be done very convenient to use from Kozan the maxillary impression can be acquired using a tray and mandible border molding is used for impression taking and the vertical dimension can be measured using a gauge and the tracing is used to determine CR and the bite information is acquired and uh, landmark like upper lip is measured and the information is sent to the company then the denture is fabricated and delivered to us determining VD the vertical dimension Dr. Chun after you talk about this let me ask a question sure in determining the VD center pin which is like a screw is attached after VD is determined that is rotated to check the VD this is very convenient without uh, any other steps VD can be determined once it is determined the screw below is cut because it can interfere with soft tissue or tongue Usually, determining a VD is very important when it comes to a denture and also centric relations. When we determine VD in a conventional way, analog way, how is it different when you use the digital way? When you determine VD digitally, what is the tip? that uh, you can give us so that we can determine the VD more easily with digital denture compared to conventional way determining VD or CR is not that different basically they are the same that's right when you do the denture that is the most difficult step because you don't have the reference that is right but with the digital denture as I said before various devices can be utilized that is the big advantage of using a digital denture for VD I don't really have a deep knowledge of a prosthodontics as a dentist so I adhere to what I learned with a textbook in a dental school for VD or CR I don't use the supine position but I make a patient sit on a chair to determine the VD or CR and when a patient is at rest after swallowing I repeat uh, the exercise of a patient until reproducible VD is achieved so I make the patient repeat the exercise repeatedly so it is a fast way to adhere to the fundamental principles thank you very much after VD let's talk about determining CR easy tracer as I said before the sticker type remove the sticker and uh, if it is attached to the maxillary tray 
the tracing can be done along with the mandibular movement to determine CR. When it comes to the tracing, Gothic arch tracing, simplified tracing, and direct check bite tracing. There are three methods. Those who use a denture actually are old, so they cannot follow the Gothic arch tracing. Therefore, I use a simplified tracing. It is a sliding back and forth repeatedly. to capture the CR, a patient is sitting, and as a surgeon, I stand behind the patient and help the patient to slide the jaw back and forth to acquire CR. As you can see here, Number two and three, that's a wrong way, going in many different directions for the tracing, the repeatedly back and forth tracing needs to be done, and then left or right, one side should be repeated rather than going from left to right repeatedly to check the CR. That's um, what I recommend to capture CR. Magic denture from Kozan. The previous information through computer or courier that is sent, and the scan data is aligned on the software. Denture border is set, landmarks are set, occlusal plane is checked, and artificial teeth are arranged. And the final checking, Kozan provides a Deca denture. It has AI function for occlusal plane and artificial teeth arrangement. And uh, I have never seen the result unsatisfactory. So AI can cover and determine the occlusal plane, which is a big surprise for me. Final impression is taken, and the trying danger comes from Kozan, and it is checked, and finally the final danger would arrive. So do you usually use the try indenture? Yes. The try indenture. So I believe it is very important step. And uh, we can make modifications when the try indenture arrives. Sometimes errors are found in the denture in terms of aesthetics or occlusion. I believe it can be frustrating. Yes, in many cases. But in the past, with a conventional denture, we experienced so many errors. For example, in the anterior region, overbite would occur as an error in the occlusion. In class two, even though you do the occlusal adjustment and uh, fabricate it again, it cannot be satisfactory because it's made by the lab and it's not my denture. Yes. So the try in denture has the significance of just checking. So the try in denture is not fitting. I get really frustrated and I start from the beginning again. With the digital denture, when occlusal plane is not appropriate, the solution can be simpler. When try in denture is appropriate, we can go directly to the final denture. If the final denture is made without going through the try in denture, and if it is found to have a lot of errors, we have to start all over again. 
When we find errors in the try indenture, we can make the adjustment and if the key is not appropriate, we can scan it again. If midline or small line is off, we can mark it with a pen and scan it again and send it, send it to them. We have the original design file and the new one can be superimposed over the original one and uh, the try indenture is something we have to do compared to before. Thanks to digital, try indenture can be used to make the final denture without errors. So you can make modifications easily. Yes, that's the best advantage. You can go on with the lecture. So final denture is provided by Kozan. And if you are interested, I recommend this to be used. Lastly, I would like to talk about the advantages of digital denture. In full mouth restorations, digital, it's not just a digital method, but it is an easier, faster, and more predictable method. That is the advantage. And the workflow of digital denture, as I said before, today, it is a very simple workflow. A denture or existing data can be backed up and uh, they can be duplicated unlimitedly. Next, compared to the conventional denture, the digital denture has a higher and better stability and retention. Many dentists around me all agree with me in this respect. And the number of visits is three at most. So that's why the patients love it and uh, simplify the process is something I really like and all the process can be done consistently. When a denture is made manually, it is bound to have some errors. Now I get angry at my case much less and there's no variation of quality, which is the best advantage of digital. I've talked about digital denture, the approach that I'm using. I hope many viewers would try the digital dentistry and digital denture. I hope this lecture has been helpful for you. That's the intention of preparing this lecture. Thank you for your listening. Thank you very much for your easy to understand lecture. So the lecture is completed and uh, through Q&A, we will answer some of the questions from the audience. We have received some questions through the real-time chatting window. Sun says um, it is very easy to understand, and Dim says Dr. Chan Seyong is very cute. Thank you very much. Do you hear that pretty often? No, this is my first time. Su Han says thank you very much for the good lecture. Pulgum Joa asks a question. When you fabricate a digital denture using a 3D printer or milling machine, what is the difference or what are the advantages and disadvantages of them? Okay, printing and milling are different. Printing is layering approach and milling is cutting. Denture has many different forms. So when you use cutting approach, the cutting burr it cannot access all corners of the form if there's undercut, yes. 
the cutting approach has some limitations in the processing. After it is fabricated manually, it can be corrected, but there is no such limitations when it comes to the 3D printing, which is a big advantage. These days, the resin materials used for the 3D printers have been upgraded quite a lot. In the past, the strength was weak, so it was used as temporary or try-in denture. It can be used for final denture as well because of good strength. For the milled dentures, let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of them. Printed dentures are not necessarily better than milled dentures at all times. The biggest advantage of the milled dentures is that it has better fitting or better precision compared to the printed dentures. But it takes a lot more time to mill than to print. If the denture is already cured, hardened, and it is milled, so the milling burr is quite costly. So you need to consider the advantages and disadvantages depending on the situation of your clinic for the digital dentistry. I cannot say one is better than the other. It depends on the situation of your clinic. Thank you for your answer. Let's go to the next question. Milling Cow asked uh, this question. When introducing digital equipment, the cost is a concern. Did you have the same concern? Milling machine versus printing machine, which is more economical? Printing, printer is more economical. Up to four or five years ago, the decent 3D printers were well over 100 million won. Milling machines were cheaper, but after two or three years, 3D printers became more reasonable in price in terms of the equipment and the materials. Ostem also has reasonably priced printers. Yes, LCD and the TLP as well. Clinically, I print a guide or a denture without, without a problem and can fabricate models. And sometimes I also print toys for my children. That helps. You're good too, as the question. Thank you for your good lecture. If you fabricate for the first time the denture after extracting residual teeth, how do you take an impression of denture border using an intraoral scanner? As mucosa is soft, scanning would not be easy. I believe after the extraction, the site is not completely healed. Okay. When I tried the digital denture at the beginning, I was wondering about that too. First, when I used the intraoral scanner for digital denture, I didn't scan the denture. To make the individual tray, I used the scanning instead of preliminary impression taking, but unexpectedly, Compared to drawing border on a model for impression taking and uh, adjusting, like adding or reducing in the mouth of a patient, if you put intraoral scanner into the mouth, less adjustments are required because, because of the thickness of the scanner tip, the muscle training is done in advance. That's right. So the movable mucosa 
and immovable border can be determined using an intraoral scanner. So it was an unexpected result. I was uh, so much delighted and I couldn't sleep. Secondly, these days, I take the final impression of a patient using the occlusal rim or recording base. So the final impression is scanned extraorally, so I don't use the intraoral scanning for final denture these days. But at one time, I tried to use intraoral scanning for final denture using an oil pen. You can draw and check the border in the mouth directly. The advantage of a color scanning, the scanner like Gatrios can capture the shape as well as the colors. So the border is colored. That's the beauty of Trios 3 or 4. According to the question by a viewer, if you draw the dental border in the mouth, the problem would be resolved. So setting the border is much more convenient if you use the digital denture approach. Thank you. Next, PPT Pop asks a question. When you recommend all on four with a digital approach, do they readily accept that? What is the reaction from the patients? When I was in a dental school or during internship, I heard many times that all on four system, the hybrid system, is not really appealing to Korean patients. That's what I heard from our teachers. Yes, it is more accepted by the West than Korea. In a full mouth case, at least 10 implants in the maxilla and 8 in the mandible, using implant bridge, if you use a digital approach for a full mouth, whether it is a temporary or final prosthesis, the biggest problem is from the occlusal adjustment to abutment setting. It took too much time, so we had to segment the mouth, and it took too much time to do the full mouth, not only the surgeon and assistants, but uh, the patients complain too because the patient says surgery is rather comfortable and um, simple, but uh, the prosthesis, that's uh, more difficult. Model is the full mouth rehabilitation had to be done by sections. Due to errors in the intraoral scanners, it is not possible to make uh, the entire full mouth prosthetics in one piece. So we need to section them off at least in three, like posterior, anterior, and posterior. Occlusal plane or the symmetry of teeth left to right and the symmetry of teeth axis left to right are not satisfactory from time to time. So oh, there are limitations in the modelist approach. And I was thinking about what can be the answer better way using the modelist approach, using the intraoral scanners, all on four or all on X or on six, uh, uses smaller number of implants and um, the errors in the intraoral scanners can be tolerable. So I thought that can be an approach. So in my clinic for a full mouth case, a bridge and all on X or all on four are used. All on four and all on six are used more frequently. Very rarely patients talk about the food retention and it doesn't look good when they lift up the lips. But all in all, they say it's um, 
pretty comfortable and uh, food retention can be resolved by washing them off and Autopic works too. So I believe the system is not handicapped or particularly resisted by the patients. That's what I think these days. So all on six and all on four are pursued, especially for digital setting of prosthetics and fabrication is very simple. So from the clinic's perspective or uh, clinic manager's perspective, it helps a lot to profitability. That's what I like. So we need to explain to the patients so that they can accept that. And we skipped one question. Sol Seng asked the question, how long does it take from impression taking to final prosthesis setting with magic denture? I think the question is how long it takes for a magic denture. When we take an impression and check the landmarks, we need to send that to the company and it takes the delivery time. So at the first visit, we need to get the information and take the impression and send it to the company. And the final or try in danger would arrive at our clinic in about one to one and a half weeks. We check the try-in denture and um, make a corrections and uh, we send it back to the company and uh, from there it takes a week or one and a half weeks to get the denture back. In some urgent cases we call COSEN and uh, they provide the, the express service as well. So we don't really need to be too much worried about the time taken. Compared to the conventional way uh, of going back and forth with the lab, the time is reduced more than a half. That's how long it takes. If you do not use a try indenture, it takes 10 to 7 days. And uh, if you use it, it takes uh, three weeks. Yes, it's a little bit over two weeks. So in an analog way, it takes uh, one and a half months because we need to receive objects from the lab six times. So it is much quicker than the conventional way. And uh, the comments say, thank you very much for the good lecture. I would like to express my gratitude to you too. Thank you very much for answering the questions. I would like to thank you for joining the discussion on the chatting window. If you have participated in the discussion and chosen as winners of a lucky draw, you will individually receive coffee coupons. Now Q&A is completed. Thank you very much for explaining the digital denture, how to make it accurately and precisely. And um, would you like to provide a tip or some advice to the colleagues or junior doctors? I talked about the digital denture. I'm not really an expert in this area. I began to study digital dentistry about 10 years ago and I prepared the equipment and devices and it was about uh, seven years ago. At the beginning, I was not confident. I just wanted to turn the manual workflow to something using computer system. Then the time for prosthetic setting for a patient can be reduced. That was the intention of using the digital approach. And uh, as I have expanded my treatment to using the modelist approach, I found the better advantage of using it, the clinical quality and precision 
has been increased considerably due to the digital approach. That is the biggest advantage that I can tell you, because when denture or lab work is made by a lab, the output is not as satisfactory. Even though I had to deliver it to a patient with a digital approach, even though I work with a lab through an online chatting or on a computer, we can communicate freely with the lab and I can reflect my ideas on the fly. So with a digital approach, many steps are reduced so errors from each step are excluded as you saw in the lecture compared to the flasking approach the clinical quality is uh, considerably enhanced it's not that i'm very skilled at it that's why i'm using it continuously so digital approach gives very high clinical quality to dentists. So you need to start that approach right away. That's something I strongly recommend it to my colleagues. So there are so many advantages. And the earlier you start, you would have better results. It's a little bit too late and you need to start today or tomorrow. When you think you are too late, it's a good time point to start. Thank you. As far as I know, Dr. Chun, on the 28th of August, will deliver digital dentistry lecture in the Mago Training Center offline training. Are you prepared? Yes. In a wonderful training center, I'm going to deliver the digital dentistry training. This is the fourth course, which is the last one this year. I experience trials and errors in the course of digital dentistry. Now, I would like to introduce the shortcut to the students. That's um, why I prepared the course. Four days is a short time. Digital model list, basics up to hands-on guided surgery. I believe one guide is a wonderful system and I actively use them. So I'm going to talk about them. If you are a beginner in digital dentistry or if you are about to start on that journey, the four day course will be very good for you. It will motivate you and it will make you comfortable in starting the journey. So you will deliver all the essential information to your students. I look forward to it. Thank you very much for staying up to late hour to handle the Q&A as well. Thank you. Prosthodontics on Friday. I would like to thank the watchers. What do you think about Dr. Chun's lecture. I hope it made you feel more closer to the digital dentistry. Those questions not answered will be answered later. The next lecture will be on the age of big data, the digital dentistry for patients and the dentists. Dr. Ki Won Jin will be the speaker. Thank you very much for joining us until the late hour. Thank you. Dr. Chun, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.